in this example we are given that a barometer gives wrong readings because of some air in the space above the mercury column and we are given that at a pressure of 75.5 cm of mercury the barometer shows 74.8 cm and at an actual pressure of 74 cm it shows 73.6 cm we are required to find the length of barometer tube above the mercury surface here you can see it gives wrong readings because of some air in the space and because of air it will exert some pressure on the mercury column and obviously because of which the reading of barometer will be relatively less than the actual reading. So let us assume that L is the length of barometer tube. Then we can state at pressure 75.5 centimeter mercury air pressure will be here we can state air pressure plus the length of the mercury which is 74.8 that will be balancing 75.5 which is the atmospheric pressure so here we can state the pressure of air which we can write as p1 it must be equals to 75.5 minus 74.8 centimeter and here this will be 0 0.7 centimeter of mercury. This is the initial stage and at some other situation when air pressure is 74 centimeter so we can write at pressure 74 centimeter mercury air pressure will be here we can write it P2 here the mercury column is of length 73.6 so air pressure plus the weight of this column would be balancing 74 so P2 must be 74 minus 73.6 which is equals to 0 0.4 centimeter of mercury in this situation we can state when pressure was 75.5 centimeter the length if length of tube is L and barometer is showing 74.8 so we can say in the initial situation volume of air can be given as V1 is equals to L minus 74.8 centimeter again we are ignoring the cross sectional area of tube as it will be a constant for both the cases. Similarly, in the final stage when air pressure is 74 centimeter, volume of air can be written as V2 is equals to L minus 73.6 centimeter. Now, in this situation using mole conservation or as we can state here temperature remains same, we can write P1 V1 is equals to P2 V2. On substituting the values, this will give us 0 0.7 multiplied by L minus 74.8 is equals to 0 0.4 multiplied by L minus 73.6. On further solving, uh, this expression will get 0 0.7 L minus 0 0.7 into 74.8 is equals to 0.4 L minus 0.4 into 73.6 and on solving this we'll get the final length of tube uh, would be 76.4 centimeter that will be the answer to our problem that is the length of barometer tube above the mercury surface in the vessel on which the tube is inverted.